Okay, in this scenario, a projectile is being fired at an angle of 15 degrees from the horizontal at a speed of 75.7 meters per second. To figure out what's going to happen, we need to resolve that velocity into its horizontal and vertical components using trigonometry like this. So you can see it's got an upward velocity and it's got a velocity, uh, horizontal velocity as well. The horizontal velocity isn't going to change, but the upward velocity decreases because of uh, acceleration due to gravity downwards, which is minus 9.81 meters per second squared if we ignore air resistance and then eventually it, the upward velocity will become zero so this is the maximum height and we can use the fact that the up, a vertical velocity equals zero to figure out what the maximum height is and then we'll carry on accelerating downwards notice how the horizontal speed is constant and then it will eventually hit the ground depending on how high the uh, cliff is and we'll be able to figure out the velocity it hits the ground at by using trigonometry one more, um, and Pythagoras. Okay, in this question, a volcano explosion is causing a rock to be hurled into the sky at an angle of 35 degrees from the horizontal. We don't know what speed it's uh, being fired at. Uh, we know it's 45 seconds in the air before it hits the point B, which is 9.4 kilometers away from uh, A horizontally determine the height h ignore air resistance so we're going to have to resolve things horizontally and vertically so the uh, vertical height is what we're looking for h um, the initial vertical speed well we don't know what x is so we don't know what the initial vertical speed is but we do know it's going to be x sine 35 degrees because we know we're interested in the upward component which is the opposite that angle 35 degrees so we also know therefore that x cosine 35 will be the vertical speed okay uh, the vertical vertical velocity will hit the ground at well we're not interested in this okay because that's the speed is going to hit the ground at we might come back to that later okay so uh, the acceleration due to gravity minus 9.81 and the time is 45 seconds uh, s the horizontal distance is traveled so that's 9.4 so 9400 meters 45 seconds so we should be able to solve this part here because um, the horizontal part because that's got only one unknown so using the equation v equals s over t we're at 940 over 45 gives me 208 0.89 so that's what the horizontal velocity is however we're interested in the actual um, um, speed x that was fired at so if we divide that by cosine 35 we get x is equal to 257.72 meters per second okay so now we should be able to work if we multiply by sine 35 we can work out the initial vertical um, velocity so the initial vertical velocity will be uh, times by sine 35 146.27 meters per second so it's fired upwards that's positive so it will be 146.27 meters per second and horizontally it's 208.89 Okay, so now we can solve this part of this, this side as well. So we're going to use the equation without the v in it, which is s equals ut plus half at squared. s is the height that we're interested in, 146.27 times 45 plus half times, don't forget the minus, 9.81 times 45 squared. Add those together and you should get minus 335 zero meters which is the 3.4 kilometers that's the height of the volcano okay now we've been asked to find the velocity at which the rock hits the ground at point b so this is going to be going like this and we want to find this speed and because velocity is a vector we also want to find an angle Okay, so we can see how much is going downwards. So here's all the information from the last section that we did. We're going to use this. But what we need now is the downward component of the vertical velocity. Now, the horizontal component of the velocity 
is hasn't changed at all okay because there's no error since it's still 208.89 okay so that hasn't changed but the vertical velocity is going to be different now so we're going to have to find that so using this information we could find uh, v okay so we can use a so that v equals u plus a t so initial speed or upwards ver vertical speed was 146.27 positive was upwards plus minus 9.81 times 45 and you get in this case 295.18 minus sorry so in other words it's going downwards at this speed 295.18 which is what we expect okay so now to work out the total speed you can just use pythagoras and you're basically working out the hypotenuse there so you do 295.18 squared plus um so there's a negative there but that's going to cancel out when you square it plus 208.89 squared and then then you can square root that to work out the magnitude of the result in there and you get 362 meters per second okay we want the angle as well so if we want the angle we're going to use trigonometry so the opposite so we're going to use uh, we have the opposite and the adjacent so you're going to use tan theta which is equal to opposite over adjacent so like a toa so o, o over a um, the opposite side from the angle that i've labeled is 295.18 and the adjacent is 208 0.89 and if you work that fraction out you get 1.413 um, 1 and if you tan inverse of that you get an angle of sorry just one second 4131 you get an angle of 54.7 degrees and this is below the horizontal you had to mention that this is 54.7 degrees below the horizontal. That's the direction.